first time since five military members were shot and killed at a Navy and Marine Reserve Center in Chattanooga, Chattanooga one week ago today. The Marines of Mike Battery, who were in that facility at the time of the shooting rampage, are telling the story of what they saw that day. Josh Rose sat down with them today. He has their story. The Marines at the Reserve Center in Chattanooga did not know shots had been fired less than 10 minutes earlier at a recruiting office just seven miles away. They didn't know they were in danger till they heard the gunman, Muhammad Abdul Aziz, open fire at their facility. And we moved my desk in front of the door and we all got beside my desk behind a concrete wall. Marine Staff Sergeant Chase e Step called 911 and the other service members in that office stayed there till the shooting stopped and police came to get them. Sergeant Jeff Cantu was in the same building in the office next door. At that point, they were with Gunnery Sergeant Thomas Sullivan, one of the five service members killed that day. I started hearing the impacts on the wall uh, in the main office and the, the rate of fire had increased. And I heard, once I heard one or two, what we call double taps, like multiple rounds at once, mm -hmm. um, then that's when I knew it was, it was definitely gunfire and it was definitely coming in our direction or is coming in the building. At that point, the senior Marines tried to get all the other Marines in that part of the building to safety, out of the back of the building and over a fence. You know, Gary Sergeant Sullivan was over there. He was with me. And once I got over the fence, it was, uh, he, he wasn't there waiting by the fence anymore. I, I can't speak for him. I don't know what he was thinking, but it, I'm fairly certain that he had no intentions of climbing that fence. Sergeant Cantu says there were other Marines still inside, and he believes Gunny Sullivan was going back to get them. That's the last time any of them saw Gunnery Sergeant Sullivan. Mentally a uh, train wreck, um, taking one day at a time, talking to people. Um, the day after, or the day that it did happen when we were released, my wife came and picked me up. Um, and all we did was just hug and cry. Josh Rowe, Chattanooga. And these Marines say those five service members who were killed that day were heroes and that there were a lot of heroes there that day. Marines and Navy sailors putting themselves in danger, putting themselves on the line to save others.